As a leader, it seems to me that teamwork has two dimensions. The one is personal and the second is organisational. But let me talk about the personal. <laughs> let me talk about me. Uh, so, look, I'm pretty good, I think, at assessing my capacity as a leader. I can see the strengths that I have. Uh, pretty good, very good even, analytically, conceptually, passion uh, and commitment. Um, pretty good at str strategy. In fact, I think I was very good until the day that I had a quite long discussion with Condoleezza Rice and realised that she was in a different realm to me, whereas I was thinking two or three moves ahead, she could often clearly see five or six moves ahead. And I thought, yes, I've got a lot of learning to do on the, on the strategy front. But I think what really has convinced me that I need teams around me is that I can also see that my strengths are counterbalanced by manifest and manifold weaknesses. There are some things that with the best will in the world, I'm not very good at, and I can improve, but I'm never going to, it's not going to be my natural leadership approach. So I tend to be not so good on uh, the small things. I tend to be not very good at sweating the small stuff. And yet if you're trying to deliver your ideas, that's really important. Because I tend to be enthusiastic and make decisions fast and sometimes too fast, it's really useful to have people around me who can say, whoa, slow down a bit, have you thought of this and that? So for me, having the right team to complement the leadership strengths that I have is important. I have never understood this notion of people who want to surround themselves with clones. At a personal level, I think it's really dangerous. I mean, I given a chance will go out and find people to become part of my team who can actually help to complement the leadership skills that I've got. And I think I've been fortunate whether I've been in, uh, in the public service, in government life, or more recently in the not-for-profit area where I've been able to put those teams around me. And out of the team you get something better than you can do individually. Organisationally, organisationally, I think teamwork is really important because you will miss things otherwise. Let me go back to, to government. In the far, last five years I had where I was heading up the Prime Minister's department, and I have to say public servants just at the end got sick of me talking about the importance of having a whole-of-government approach of making sure that you got all the different governments and departments and uh, agencies actually working together uh, as a team. But it was nonsense otherwise. I saw time after time where government policy came undone because it hadn't given consideration to the wide range of delivery issues. We've seen it obviously quite recently with the idea of home insulation, nothing wrong with the idea, but where it was not well articulated and the delivery went ar awry. Now, it seems to me the only way you can counter this is by creating teams in government. It was no use me just having uh, the Department of Prime Minister and Cabinet and Treasury and Finance uh, deciding what to do in the area of um, uh, delivering um, uh, health services, for example, that unless we got the line agencies also involved, unless we got the operational agencies like Centrelink involved, we would not be able to develop the policy and think of all the challenges we would face to delivering it. Exactly the same, in my view, in the private sector. It is really important that you bring teams together so that by the time you make the decision and think how you're going to implement it to the greatest extent possible through the use of that team you have dealt with all the contingencies and hopefully identified as many of the unanticipated challenges and consequences that you would not have done unless you got everybody, everybody involved.